grandkids. The same thing happened again. The, the video just cut off. So I'll show you the pictures on this video. This is the snowberry sauce. And as you can see, there's old, it's, it's old crockery and old silver spoons. And sometimes things are shown with uh, the strange forks and knives that they have in the games. And I just think it's so cool. You're gonna love all of the pictures in this book. This is the Imperial Mushroom Sauce. I'm definitely going to make that. It looks so good. And uh, I already told my quilting friends that some of these things I'm going to be making, I'm going to bring them to, the, to our meeting so that they can have some too. They're going to be my guinea pigs <laughs> or my testers. They thought that would be cool. This is leek and cheese crostata. And that's made with a rye crust. One of my friends is gonna like that because she likes rye. And this one I've never heard of, so it must be out of Morrowind or one of the other Elder Scroll games. This is called Saltrees Porridge. And I always have oatmeal or dry cereal for breakfast with fruit and nuts on it. So I'm gonna make this sometime for my breakfast. It's made with white rice. Soft rice porridge. Oh, doesn't that look good? And let me see what's next. This seems to last only for about 10 minutes, so that's why I'm trying to hurry. This is Orsimer, Orsimer venison. I hadn't seen that before either, uh, so I don't know which game that's out of. I don't know which page this is on. There, doesn't that look good? I don't know where I'd find any venison, and that's what it says in the recipe. Maybe she gives a substitute for it, but I'd probably use uh, pork ribs or something, but make it however this calls for. <laughs> with some of that orsimer sauce in it, mushroom sauce in it. And of course, I showed you the sweet rolls already. I wonder if that's supposed to be a coin purse sitting there. I'm definitely gonna be making those. And this is a snowberry cordial. I might make that because it has sweet red wine vinegar in it. And if I drink any red wine vinegar, <laughs> sweet red wine like Cabernet. And if I ever have a glass of wine, it's a sweet red wine. This is snowberry cordial. She substitutes cranberries for the snowberries so that you can pretend that's snowberries. And then the last one is something that was very strange to me and I was excited to see what it was. And I don't know what game this is out of, but I don't think it's in Skyrim. But this is called The Water of Life. And look at all the stuff that's in there to give it flavor, and it isn't water, it's vodka, and I used to love vodka. This has two teaspoons of fennel seeds, two teaspoons of caraway seeds, one tablespoon of juniper berries, which there's juniper berries in the game, but there really is juniper berries in real life too. One sprig of fresh dill, and four cups of vodka. And then you let that steep for two to three days until it turns a light golden color and has as strong a flavor as you like. So you keep test, sipping it and testing it. Serve in small glasses. It can be sipped as a digestive 
or knocked back for a more medicinal approach. I'd just be drinking it. I'll probably try that too. And I can't take it to my to my friends so that they can test these drinks because they'll be driving to wherever we meet so they can't be drinking. And I wanted to sh I showed you the cover of this before, but I wanted to show you this roast. No, this way. Doesn't that look like a horker's head with his teeth? <laughs> I thought that's kind of gross. That I read the recipe. It's going to be good. So I will. I, that's all I have. This is just a continuation of the first one that I posted. So I hope you read both of them or watch both of them. <laughs> and I'm sorry that cuts off like that. I. I thought these made longer videos than that, but they seem to be only 10 minutes long. But it cut off, and I didn't know it had because I still have the recording thing showing, like it was still recording. And then when I ended it, after I had shown all these pictures, it was still recording, and I cut it off. So I don't know what happens. So I hope all this one is on there. And I will see you all later, grandkids. Bye-bye.